Hello everybody, today we'll be showing you how to make Excel an instant know -it all The original article was published by the Journal of Accountancy and the author was Roberta Ann Jones. It was first published in Mar March 2004, but today, myself, Liam Strong and myself, Aloba Tufua will be showing you guys how it's done. Okay, so imagine this is you. It's a busy, busy day at the workplace. Okay, you've got tons and tons and tons of data that you go through daily and your boss comes in the annoying guy he is and wants you to find something really specific in all of this information well you're going to turn around because you have all the answers and you're going to be able to tell him because of pivot tables what we're going to do here is we're going to show you with a very simple okay, database or data set how to create a pivot table now this specific data set which we have in front of you, in front of us, is of a, um, what we call it, a phone sales group. Okay, and uh, this company runs in two places, the US and the UK, and it has uh, various employees. And this just shows what days they sold um, products and to how much they sold. So, first of all, to make our pivot table, you can either click inside the data set anywhere or click and drag highlight the entire area once you've done so you need to go to insert and then pivot table once you've done so um, the area which has your data, data set would have been automatically selected and this box will appear we're going to ignore the top area because this is simply where you insert the range and as you can see the range is automatically being inserted we're going to go down to the part however that says choose where you want the pivot table to be placed now in this you can either choose the existing worksheet which will put it over here somewhere or perhaps down below um, but we're going to put it in a new worksheet so it's going to be down on the tabs here it's going to create a new tab and it's going to put your pivot table there so let's go ahead and click OK. At this stage you'll be brought to this page. As you can see it's a new sheet. Okay, So we've been put into a new worksheet. And up in the top field here you have all of your previous columns. Remember we have country, either the UK or the US. We have salesperson, all of those names, date and amount of the order. And we're going to have to arrange all of these in the bottom fields. Okay, so the reported field, first of all, now in saying this, it's, it can be quite confusing when you go to first arrange your pivot table. You may not know where to put everything, but if you try it a few times, you should be able to understand how Excel is arranging your data. For example, let's just try and put country down here. We'll put sales person in the column, that means it's going to be along the top. Let's put dates down the side and then we'll put all of the order amounts in the value okay but if we wanted to we could change this around put both at the top or one down here and you see how it's changing over here so if you're ever confused don't worry too much because you can just play around uh, and find your best result okay now that we've made the pivot table it's over here I'm going to hand it over to uh, Alopa and she's going to show you how you can use this pivot table to dig down and find what you need. All right, so let's say for example, um, going back to the beginning, you say your CEO comes in and needs a specific date. Let's say he wants um, the quarters for only the UK. Okay, first of all, we're gonna start with the quarters, being able to arrange them. Okay, as you can see over here, um, so A4, right over here, B1, and B3. They have drop down menus which make it more um, easier for you to when you um, you want to sort your data as to giving the report. Alright? Okay. So going back to put it in um, in quarters. So what you do is you're going to select within the range of A5 to A15. So this is it. You can click whichever over there. Just make sure you right click. Once you right click you look for a group, as you can see right here. Then with that, you left click. 
Okay, so when it comes up to grouping, you want to make sure only the quarters is highlighted. So you hit quarters, and then you um, click month again, so it will, as you can see over there, it unhighlights it. So that is what we want, only the quarters. And then you hit OK. As you can see over here, there's a change. Not only that, you have the, the pivot table field list. It's gone. Don't worry, it's still there. Um, just the difference is that you click outside of the pivot table. Once you go back in, see, you'll be able to see that. So um, you'll still have that around. Okay, so this is essentially what we're looking for with the quarters. So we'll see for David, Jones, Osaki, and Smith, grand total, and the different quarters. So we have um, third and fourth quarter. All right, so going back, we said we wanted, let's say, for the UK only. So what we're going to do go down and only hit UK and we're going to hit OK as you can see over here it shows third and fourth quarter for the UK this way we're able to um, explain that Browns Jones and Smith are the only ones in the UK which are there the, let's say probably there could be the salesperson over there and then let's say for example he wants to change his mind all of a sudden and switch to the USA so we're just going to USA, OK, and you can see the date of the changes. But for this exercise, we're going to stick with all. So we can just see all the different um, different salesperson for all the, oh, for both quarters. All right, um, this, I hope this is able to help you. This is very simple. Um, it doesn't um, usually also going back to what Liam said about the arrangement of this. Um, if your arrangement of these could be different, don't panic, these will be different as well, but going back down to the grand total, it will be the same. So just um, make sure you practice this a few times, and this should be able to be very simple for you to do. Okay, we thank you guys for looking in on our tutorial. We hope we could teach you, and aloha. And malo Yeah.